Established in 2007, Nagaland University in Dimapur, also known as the School of Engineering and Technology, is state's first engineering institution. It holds an overall rating of 3.5 stars out of 5 by students on Shiksha.com. In this review video, we will find out how are the BTEC courses here, starting right off with BTEC placements, which have been rated 2.8 stars. As per NIRF 2024 report, 70 out of 144 graduating students were placed here, with some opting for higher studies as well. This represents a significant increase in placement rates, up from 7% in 2021 to 49% in 2023. The median package remains steady at 3 LPA, while the highest package offered ranges between 5 to 6 LPA. The top recruiters here include Wipro, DRDO, government agencies, NTE, LIT, Dimapur, Nestle, and TCS. Notably, Nagaland University offers a higher median salary than Assam Don Bosco University, which has a median salary of 1.92 LPA. Students here are required to complete 4 to 6 weeks of summer, winter, or industrial training during their 4th, 5th, or 6th semester, with internship opportunities available from the second year itself. Five BTEC specializations are offered here, with a total student intake of 150, and 20% of the BTEC seats here are reserved for home state students. Admission to the BTEC program here requires a minimum of 45% in 10 plus 2 exam, with 70% of the merit based on 12th grade marks, and 30% on the JE main or advanced course. Now talking about the fees, the course fee here is around 89,000 rupees, excluding hostel and miscellaneous charges. Hostel fee is around 24,000 rupees for 4 years, state-specific scholarships are also available for students with a parental income below 4.5 LPA. Now let's move on to the infrastructure rated 3.7 stars. The School of Engineering and Technology is situated at a DC Court Junction in Dimapur. It features a four-story building with good learning environment despite its compact size. The academic complex includes modern classrooms, a 100 Mbps internet connection, a well-stocked library, a computer lab and research laboratories, as well as an e-library with online resources. The campus provides separate hostels for boys and girls with three hostels each on a twin-sharing basis. The mess offers good food with non-vegetarian options available thrice a week. Students also benefit from sports facilities and a gym, including table tennis, carom, cricket, and chess. The administrative block is housed in a separate building at Landmark Colony. Furthermore, faculty and course hold a rating of 4.1 stars. Most faculty members here are guest lecturers, many with PhD degrees. Reviews for faculty are mixed, with some students finding the faculty knowledgeable but not particularly helpful. A minimum of 75% attendance is required to sit for end-term exams, and a CGPA of 5 is needed to pass. The institution collaborates with various partners, including a recent MOU with IIT Guwahati. Campus life of Nagaland University Dimapur has received a rating of 3.8 stars. The campus life here is vibrant with various events and activities. The technical festival is the highlight of the academic year. Now talking about the rankings, the Nagaland University Dimapur is currently unranked in NIRF rankings. If you want to find out more details about it, you can check out thousands of courses and college reviews on Shiksha.com. We would also like to hear from you, so drop a comment below and don't forget to like and share this video.